So I have built my application. It's a form, like described on the article. And now to start debugging my application, uh, it's really simple. Uh, I have defined it here, the IP address of my Colibri. You can see here uh, Colibri IMX6 Dualite uh, module on an IDIS board, which is connected to this display to make easy your uh, visualization. I have a wireless keyboard attached here, and you can see that I can navigate on the module. And uh, the only thing I need to do is start my Windows Embedded Compact Debugger. And like magic, everything is running. And then I can click on several blocks and the user interface works is like that. Something I mentioned in the article that I want to show you now is uh, let me turn off. I will change this model for a Vibrate VF61. Uh, this is an ARM Cortex A9 while uh, the VF is an ARM Cortex A5, no C, 2013. Um, takes a little bit longer. And what I need to do first is start the client debugger. Okay. And I have configured the IP address of this board also. And I will test this here. Okay, that two is the Colibri board. I have reply from the Colibri board. I can do the same from the Colibri board to test if I have the connection, proper connection to the computer. Looks like everything is okay now. And what I will do now is uh, without any changes on the software here, I can just hit the debug again and hopefully uh, everything works once again. I can click on the blocks and uh, Oh, everything works and uh, the nice thing is that I could even set a breakpoint on that uh, let me find the program here and this is form one this is method over here I can set a breakpoint here and then when I click the block I hit the breakpoint and I could do even a step-by-step old-fashioned. That's it. Thanks for watching.